In the freezing dark of a November night, a boat packed with migrants has been spotted in the channel. You okay? First on the scene is a fishing boat you need help? with Good Morning Britain journalists aboard. Help is coming, we've called for it. The migrants have been out here for six hours already. How many people? Their answer beggars belief. This is a dinghy designed to carry perhaps four people. Nine people? Is there children? There are four in total, the youngest probably unaware just how dangerous their voyage was. How old's your daughter? How old? How, yeah, cold? Three, she's three. Three years old. The Home Office have tonight confirmed the group consists of one man and two families from Iraqi Kurdistan. Their location is passed to the Coast Guard and a border force cutter soon arrives, plucking them to safety. The fisherman who first found them says they were lucky to survive. There was a lot of ships around last night um, and you know how they managed to get across the channel in the dark with no navigation and through both shipping lanes is uh, it's a feat of, of you know it really is a feat to do that. The migrants have picked a window in the weather last night when it was much calmer. The concern now is that the wind is going to pick up to more than 20 knots tonight making conditions out here incredibly perilous. As the winter weather deteriorates, there are calls for more resources to deal with what is now daily migrant crossings. I mean, central government need to realise, you know, we are on the front line and therefore we need, you know, funding to assist with, with dealing with the issue that we deal with on almost a daily basis at the moment. So it's about, you know, assistance from the national government, but also it's sort of collaboration with the French as well, because, you know, it's only a matter of time before someone actually dies in the channel. What was once a scene synonymous with rescues in the Mediterranean is now a reality just off the coast of Britain. Families whose dream of a new life in the UK means enduring a nightmare across the channel to achieve it. Well, tonight, Storm Diana is beginning to lash the channel with gale force, eight winds and rough seas. The local fishermen that any migrants attempting to cross in those small boats would almost certainly drown.